Leadership has been said to be something of utmost importance, not only in organizations, but in nations, in communities. The world is short of leaders. So there's a lot of effort to develop leaders, and you too can be a leader. But how do you become a leader? In many organizations, you become a leader when you are appointed to a place. You are general manager, you are head of finance, you are head of marketing, you automatically become a leader. You have been appointed a leader. Now, whether you actually exercise leadership or not is different, but you have been appointed into a leadership position. However, many of us who are not appointed like that have an opportunity to become leaders through what we call informal leadership. The informal leader are people without authority, without a title, without a position, but they wield so much power in the organization. They influence so many other people because of what they do, how they feel about things, and uh, the various ways in which they handle relationships with other people in the organization. So informal leadership is uh, emerges, especially in organizations, by those people who are able to get reference power and expert power, and other times some reward power. The fact that somebody says thank you uh, is a reward to you and it encourages you. So the informal leader is somebody who is not in a formal position, has no formal authority, but has a nature, and you can call this charisma, has a nature that attracts people to him or her because he has empathy, he or she has empathy, has the feelings of other people and is able to help people to achieve their goals in the organization. This is somebody who will show you what to do when your boss hasn't shown you what to do. This is somebody when you have a problem at home will come up and say sorry about that which your boss may never do. These people accumulate power in the organization that enables them to become very important people in the organization. So informal leaders develop with time as a result of the needs of various people in the organization. And organizations have got different groups, the former groups, but they also have the informal groups. And you may be a member of an informal group where a subordinate is a leader. It's possible. Uh, and it happens. You may be a member of different subgroups in the organization, and these subgroups in the organization have different leaders and you're simply a member of these groups and yet you may be high up in the formal hierarchy in the organization. So informal leaders develop because there are needs in the organization that need to be satisfied. They develop because the formal leaders do not have what it takes, they're simply managers. They do not have what it takes to inspire others. They do not have what it takes to help others succeed. You can be one of them by uh, you know, uh, doing what these people do to get into those leadership positions. So what is it that they do? As I said, first of all, they have empathy. They have a feeling for others. They know where it hurts. That's extremely important if you're going to be a leader. Two, they build trust with the followers. Uh, they are not their followers yet, but because they work together in the organization, they, these people feel this person has a feeling for me, they, they start trusting them. And three, they help these people to achieve their goals. Somebody may be struggling in an organization, looking for some help on how to, for instance, can, how can I do a spreadsheet? Nobody has shown you how to do a spreadsheet. And somebody comes out, gives you help, or somebody comes out and tells you, X, Y, Z can help you to do the spreadsheet. Now, the allegiance of that person who has been assisted will shift from the formal leader to the informal leader who has been able to help in the achievement of a specific task. The formal leader also will a lot of power in terms of uh, if there's something that is taking place in the organization, for instance, there is communication in the organization, when it gets to the informal leader, it is that person who is able to pass it out to others effectively and may tell the people they lead to accept or reject the information. This is where we, 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 we have challenges with informal leaders, that informal leaders can cause civil action in the organization. They, they make a strike in the organization because they do not necessarily agree with what the formal system is bringing up. So you as a formal leader, you as, as, a, as a person who is simply 
in the organization without a formal position, you too can be a leader by assuming the informal leadership role. And what it takes is empathy, having the feeling for other people, building trust with other people, supporting other people, and you're going to succeed as a leader.